Hey, that did do them all. I am gonna save right here. Elevator? Seems to be turned off. Seems to be turned off. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Oh, okay. I couldn't go anywhere anyway. Oh. My whole everything needs popped. That looks like a face. Ooh, don't be Manaton version 0.5 because you're creepy looking. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Guess so. There's a heart in there. Looks like my life heart. Hey, no, I made friends with you. Let me move. I don't like. Hey, stop. Hey, Thomas, hey, stop. I, I got you guys some food, okay? Was our food motivated? Same. Sorry about that. They, they kind of get, they get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. I got it. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate they came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. Excuse me. To tell the truth. That I might run away or do, do something cowardly. Oh, Alphys, you're adorable. Uh, I, uh, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically, physicality they had. Oh, is that the slime blobs? It reminds me of that really old movie. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't Nemo. I can't remember what it was, but it gave me nightmares as a young kid. And, like, there was people that could melt into goopy things in, the, like, a sewer area. And they were like, I don't want to become a goopy or whatever they are. I've never found out what movie it is. And I kind of want to figure it out at some point in my life. But I have no other understand or information to go by to look it up. And uh, I remember scaring the shit out of me. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrible failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. I freaking love Alphys. Come on guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Really? Did I just get trolled thinking this was a whole scary bit? Or is it trying to make me think that and it actually is a scary bit? The power has been turned on. Okay, read the... Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. A flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live. That's flowy! Entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's fucking flowy, I called it! Uh-oh.
Uh, I don't like how slow it, slow it typed it. It's a voice you have never heard before. Edmund, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Edmund, see you soon. Oh. Uh, don't, don't make me fight Plowy again. That was an awful boss fight. Oh, of course, plants. No. Oh, no. No, I was here earlier. No. Oh, my life. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I should have walked across that. Like, he would have hid something there. Like, oh, you know the way there. Just, you don't need to walk the whole way. So I'm going to try it anyway. See if he hid anything. And no sound, of course. We love it. Does wonders to help my unease. Not even footprints, man. Uh, how far do I want to take this? That's the real question. Game's starting to lag out a little bit. All right, you know what? I'm going back. I don't think there's going to be anything. Maybe we'll check the kitchen real quick. Just to see if, like, Toriel is here or a pie is made. Hi. Balls. Wait, note. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. Hi. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Someone must fire magic set. Okay. Well, there's nothing to have, so. Well, that was a waste of time. I do not like the silence. For one, my brain doesn't work well in complete silence. Starts freaking out. Like, if you don't believe that, or how that's possible, here's a little context. Literally, the moment I wake up, my brain immediately starts playing a song on loop in my head until I actually get out of bed. It's really freaking annoying. I just want to sleep in. Nope. Sing some stupid, dumb song. It gets stuck in my head, and it just sits on loop. It's awful. The other day, it was Poker Face. By Lady Gaga. Have I ever come this way? I do not remember this. This is new. This is new. Wait. God damn it. No, it's not. No. I just got trolled again. Mifa. That's creepy. Your name is red on uh, my stream chat right here. And seeing that the way you typed that out with red text is terrifying. I don't like. I don't like it. Oh, a friend of mine is playing Monster Hunter World. All right, down we go. Sans? 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 No Sans? Is there anything hidden? No. No Sans. Broken Triforce. I didn't like there was a plant growing up all over the wall. Throne room. Alright, so that's where I saw Asgore. I don't want to fight him again. This is where the coffins were, right? It's still silent! Yep. 
Ugh. Can I climb these walls? They look like stuff's growing on them. Just pull a link. Flowey? Don't come at me. Hey, Asgore. No, nope, that's not Asgore. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Can I go? Nope. Oh, yeah, save point. Thank you. Have I really put 600 minutes into this game? Hey, friend. I forgot his voice. Um, this is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Here we go. I see. This is it then. Uh, is that what I was supposed to do? Ready? All right, Orochimaru. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Have I, like, literally, in my science experience, been filled with de determination? Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. No! Whoa. That's new. Flame. Whoa! Hey. Asgore? Hey! Mama Goat! Mama Goat! It's Mama Goat! I forgot her voice. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. Oh, that's her symbol that we saw above the door that we said it was a... a Triforce and an eagle. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been treacherous. And ultimately... It would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized... I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, He's not really that terrible, though. He deserves mercy, too. Tori, you, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meeking hoping, meekly hoping another human comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? This is adorable. <sighs> no, Asgore. Oh my god, it's you! Yeah, it's got a human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. N nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, 
Hi. There's two of them? Hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help! Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty! Hey, human! Did I go shave? And, uh, clone himself? Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may... know each other. Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name Sands. What voice was that? The name Sands. And, uh, same. Oh, wait. Then... This must be your brother... Oh, wait. Other person. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Look at look at him. Him's all blushy. Wowie! Wowie! I can't believe Asgore Clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Not the day we had a date. <sighs> Papyrus. Hey, Papyrus. What does the skeleton tile his roof with? Oh no. Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. Oh my god, look at his eyeballs. <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta... Stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. And some metaphor. I fucking love Elphus. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god, is it Metaton? It's Metaton! Oh, I don't remember Metaton's voice. Oh my god! I don't remember his voice. We're gonna just wing it. Already. What the fuck? That sounded awful. Hold on. We gotta fix this up. The audience is dying for some romantic action. That sounds a little better. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy, right? Elvis? Uh, Elvis? No, he's right. Let's do it. Well, uh, I guess if you want to do then. Oh my god, she's blushing. Don't hold anything back. Oh my god, are they gonna smooch? Oh, it's awkward. Look at their heads tilting. Oh, it's creepy. Uh oh. Okay. Wait. Not in front of the human. Oh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Look at fucking Undyne. <laughs> My child, it seems as you must stay here for a while, looking at all the great friends you have made. I think... I think you will be happy here. Look at all my friends! It, it, that reminds me. The pirates, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides uh, her... Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everyone? just say a tiny flower oh, fuck my ass <sighs> flowery a tiny flower help a flower helped me fuck i was just about to say how i'm so happy that everyone's here i have all my friends and douchebag flower mcgee has to come in and ruin my d my d my day Mm -hmm. I'm upset. Tales of our endeavors. Mifa, thank you so much for the host, my friend. I appreciate it. A tiny flower. Fuck. No! Don't do this to me. Oh. Fuck you, Flowey. You idiots. Well, you guys were having your little powwow. 
I took the human.